It, uh, it remains to be seen, certainly, but uh, we see a reserve change in blue. That's Luke Colleen coming in place of Connor Cole, so the reserves swapping over in this one for the Bandits. But uh, on the inside, we're awaiting the arrival of the rider in gate one in white. That will be Paco Castagna. And uh, gate two in red is Rory Schlein. Gate three in yellow, that's Lassa Fredrickson. And off the outside in blue, He's, uh, he hasn't scored much, but by God, he's been lively. It's uh, Luke Colleen. Uh, he's, he's in an eventful night, and he comes out in place of Connor Coles here. But, uh, yeah, an interesting decision in, in that one. But, uh, yeah, who would be a team manager, Graham? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, you're right. You know, it's, it's a results-based business, isn't it? You know, if, if the results go the way they're meant to, then Alex looks like a genius. Yeah, of course. If they don't, then you're, like, you made the wrong decision. But, we'll see. You know, Pac was off at gate one. Yeah, gate one, I don't think. Um, has been overshot early in the game, but we've seen Jonas Nunes and Alex for a week off yeah, in the last one. So maybe that's coming to the fore. And when we look at Colleen being in, maybe, you know, maybe Alex Hart is thinking as well. He would think from a modest point of view. Worst case scenario should be a free all but So, yeah, Star Marshall gets him into line. He moves away. Green lights on and the tapes go up. Who's made the best fist of it? Monarch Spirit. Absolutely jet propelled away from the start. Rory Schlein left standing in that one. And as you say, what do we know? We were busy questioning the decision, but certainly so far it's looking good for the Monarchs. Here comes Rory Schlein off the uh, track around the pair of them. And has he done it? He's gone round one. He's gone round the outside of. Uh, Paco Castagna, can he get round the outside of Lassen Fredrickson? What a ride from Rory Schlein. Uncharacteristic from Rory Schlein to see him blasting round the boards. But my God, he's looked impressive in this one. What a ride. Here comes Luke Clean round the outside, just about hangs on. How on earth did he stay on? Best race of the night so far, Graham. Absolutely. You know, the Monarchs were a team start, and I was about to say, well, that's the reason Alex Harkis has been doing this for 30 plus years. Rory Schlein absolutely going back to the on that outside line. Yeah, but I think he's going to settle down now and yep. he's now come off actually. Yeah, he's off in the, the first bend at the end of the fourth lap. But what a ride by Rory Schwann. Yeah. Is he, is he 30 or 18? <laughs> Who would know? Who would know? You wouldn't know from that. Certainly riding like an 18 year old there. Rory Schwann absolutely flying in that one. Just when the bandits needed it most because that was looking. You know, that was looking all day long like a 5 1 of the Monarchs, and there would have been only two points down in that. But, you know, the Bandits needed a hero when it came in the form of Rorish line there with arguably one of the best rides I've ever seen him produce around Shieldfield Park. Yeah, absolutely fantastic by the new boy. It's remarkable to think he was a Monarch back in 2003. 20 years ago, he was a league winning Monarch, and actually, I think he rode a few matches for them. In fact, his first. Uh, year for the mark was 2002. Uh, was it 2001 or 2002? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he was in the team in 2002. He had a few matches for a few teams in 2001. Um, he made well use of whatever the rules were that allowed him to, to come in on a three point average and guested for a few teams. But yeah, 21 years or whatever, I don't know. Still showing exactly what he's made of. Yeah, absolutely tremendous stuff there from, uh, from Rory Schlein. And as I say, it wasn't someone I was expecting to see. Uh, in that one, it looked like the Monarchs had that one all sewn up, and they made an absolute jet-propelled start. But once uh, Rory Schlein got himself in the mood for that one, he, uh, he, he certainly, he certainly, you know, took the gamble, wet to the outside. And Luke Colleen, you've got to give him a bit of praise. One point he scored tonight, but by God, he's been worth an awful, awful lot more. Yeah, I mean, if there was the old saying, isn't it? If there was points for effort, uh, he'd have a lot more than one. 